Hey everyone, Dado Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this tool wall in under an hour. It's super easy and doesn't require a single French cleat. Let's check it out. Whenever I'm cutting down large sheet goods, I like to use my Bora centipede. They come with pre-made tops, but I just use a sheet of insulation board that I've been cut into many times. If you have a small shop, I highly recommend this system when you need the extra space. Another game changer for me was the rail square from TSO. It's not cheap, but it saves so much time when setting up track saw cuts and makes perfect 90 degree cuts every time. This piece of plywood got a little wet in storage, so I'm first just getting a straight edge. Then I cross cut to approximately the final width. Registering the rail square against a previously cut face, I work my way around the piece, cutting it to final size. I chose to make this project 45 inches by 45 inches. I may come back in the future and picture frame it with hardwood, and I want to leave space for the miters if I use some 48 inch stock. Alright, when you're all done, teardown is a breeze. You can see I cut my insulation in half and taped it back together for easier storage. The Bora Centipede folds up in a snap and stores away in this handy bag. Alright, it is way too cold in my garage for painting, so I brought the board inside and found a can of latex paint we had laying around. Now of course you don't have to paint your tool wall. Some of you might prefer the look of natural wood and that's totally fine, it's your shop. But I want to take this to the next level. I spend a lot of time in my shop and I want it to be a place that not only functions well, but is an attractive place to spend my hard earned spare time. Alright, once the paint dries, here comes the fun part. Lay out your tools on the board and play around with different arrangements. Aim to put your most used tools within the easiest reach, and then maybe consider grouping similar tools together. There's really no right answer, because this is your tool wall. I found these towel hooks on Amazon, and I think they're going to work out pretty well. They're four inches long, about the right length I need. And what's pretty cool is that these pins screw off, and under this cover plate, you have three holes just to mount... Um, onto your board. Hardware is included and links down below. Next, position the hardware roughly where you think it'll go. Aim for at least two hooks per tool if the tool will be hanging by its handle, and probably at least three hooks if you're supporting the tool from the bottom. Every tool will vary, so you have to play around a little bit, but it's not a bad idea to order a few spares. Alright, time to get to work. The most accurate way to mount these is to unscrew the post and remove the decorative cap. Reattach the post to the base and position them into their final location, keeping in mind how the tool rests on the post and how you will remove the tool when you grab it. When you're satisfied with the position, carefully hold on the base and mark the position of the screw holes. I like to rotate them so there are two screws at the top and one screw at the bottom. Having more screws at the top resists the pulling force of the weight of the tools when it's mounted on the wall. Or at least that's what I tell myself. I don't know, it's not any extra work, so why not? You can see it's easier to drive the screws in with the post removed, so unscrew them one last time and have at it. Reassembly is pretty easy too, and when they're all done, it's time to check your work. If you like this idea so far, I have a huge favor to ask. As a really small time YouTuber, it's hard to get my content out there for other woodworkers to see. I'd love if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me bring more content and supports the whole Dado family. Thank you. Stick around and I'm going to show you my secret for making this thing look really amazing. But first you'll need to mark where you want the bottom of the board to be and note the position of your studs. Mount a 2x4 to the wall that will temporarily hold the weight of the board while you screw it in place. But use a short piece of 2x4 that only spans two of the three studs. I'll show you why in a second. Lift the board onto the 2x4 and then when you're happy with the positioning side to side, mark the wall along one of the edges. Then transfer the location of the studs from your marks on the wall to the tool board. You can set the board back on solid ground again. Mark the position of some screw holes on the board that align with your stud marks. I made them all about one inch from the top. Drill some pilot holes with the board on the ground, and then start your screws in the holes. Lift the tool board back up onto the 2x4 and align it with the mark you made on the wall. Then hold it in place and finish driving your screws along the top row. Alright, here's my secret tip for making this thing look great. It's just a 99 cent pack of shims. By inserting a shim next to each of the screws on the bottom row, you are rotating the board ever so slightly up. This causes all of the tools to lay evenly against the back of the board. Genius, right? And because you use a short 2x4 leaving the last stud exposed from below, the first one can go in right away. Then just remove the 2x4 and drive in two more screws with matching shims. Alright, this is the part we've all been waiting for. I think we need some music to set the mood. Oh yeah, look at that tool wall. It's looking mighty fine. That tool wall is flawless. 
so close. Okay, so it's not perfect, but that's why I told you to buy extra hooks. You won't know if it works until it doesn't. But this one was an easy fix. Finally. Alright, so that's the build. If you like the idea, please give me a thumbs up and then consider subscribing down below. We just moved to a new house and I'm going to be posting all kinds of videos on how to organize a new shop that you're not going to want to miss. Alright, I'm out.